welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing um, a Valentine's Day look I guess is what I might call it a Valentine's outing look I don't know yeah this look was really 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 last minute like I did not think that I was gonna record a Valentine's Day tutorial because the timing was too close to when Valentine's Day is so I didn't think I would have enough time to record a video and edit one. But yeah, so this look is just a cut crease. I was going to do glitter, but I don't have a lot of time. We're going out right now. So, um, yeah, I didn't really have time to add glitter. So I just added a little bit of glitter um, to where the cut of the crease was. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Um, if you like the video, if you like the makeup look, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Because that really helps the channel. And um, if you are not subscribed, what is you really doing, boo? I want to know. What are you really doing? Click that subscribe button down below and join the family. That's pretty much all I have to say. If you're interested in seeing how I beat my face, how I accomplished this, then obviously you already know. Keep watching. Because you guys know, before I start doing my eyebrows, I always um, take turns with some powder. It just helps remove any oil and it helps um, it to slide on your eyebrows a lot easier. So I did do my eyebrows off camera. So right now I am priming my eyelids for the eyeshadow application. To do so, I'm just taking some concealer and I'm just setting it with some Sasha Buttercup setting powder. The first color I'm going to be diving into is Red Ochre and that's part of the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern renaissance palette and I'm just popping that into my crease to start as a transition color. You wanna know if I will ever leave your side, but I'll... I'm then going to be using the color called Love Letter which is also in the exact same palette and I'm just using that to help build up the crease. As you can see I'm more of dabbing it than blending so I want as much coverage as possible so I'm first applying pressure and dabbing the color onto my crease before blending it out. And if they call me crazy, I don't care. You should know. Switching into the Take Me to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics, I'm going into that pink color and also dabbing that into my outer crease. I did switch brushes as well because I wanted a more dense um, coverage and a more dense look from the eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the black shade as well and also patting that into my outer V. In heaven, hope will still be in love in heaven. Hey, in heaven, do people fall in love in heaven until I wanted something a little bit more darker, so I switched into my Morphe 35F palette and I'm using that black color. Um, and also putting that into my outer V as well. I'm focusing most of the color into my outer V, but as you can see, when I do come, I'm going to go in uh, to the front of the crease with the leftover product on the brush. I'm going back into Love Letter from the pa Anastasia palette and putting that above the crease. Now I'm going to be cutting the crease with some concealer. I'm using one of the Maybelline concealer sticks in the color Light. A trick I have when cutting the crease is make sure you just go really slowly and just follow your eye socket as you go. Then I'm going to be going into the Morphe 35F palette, spritzing it with some water and going in with that shimmery pinky shade and putting it um, about a third to about a half way onto my lid. I'm then going to the Nude Rose palette and I'm taking another shimmer shade, a champagne kind of shimmer shade and popping that at the front of my lid. I wanted to add a little bit of glitter so I'm going to be going in with the NYX glitter primer and putting it just where I cut the crease and adding a little bit of glitter. Now it's time for highlights. I'm going to be highlighting my face with uh, the Maybelline Concealer Stick. 
I believe this is in the shade 45, just in the normal areas that I normally highlight. Today I did go for a brighter highlight than I usually do. I think usually I use the LA Girl Concealers in Beautiful Bronze, but you know, I wanted to look cute today. <laughs> Hi. Hello? Hello. Yikes. Ha! How we have this? So to set my concealer, I'm using the famous Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder and this is one of my holy grail products and I swear by this product. It is so good for setting the concealer and everything. I'm then going to be wiping it off with uh, my MAC powder in NW50. So to contour, I'm using uh, the Ben Nye. It's actually a cream eyeshadow. I'm not sure the exact color, but I'll put it down below. Uh, this looks great for women of color for contouring. It's not too dark, so this looks perfect. When I'm done contouring, I do like to clean up and make everything look all crisp with uh, some more Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Screaming loud for the whole world to hear And if they call me crazy, I don't care You should know I won't go That's the last thing you should worry about Stay with me till eternity so I'm going to be highlighting with my MAC highlighter And this is in Gold Deposit actually one of my very first highlights I've ever owned and so I haven't used it in a while so I decided to go back to it after highlight I follow up with blush and this is my favorite blush it just look at the way it just adds warmth to my cheeks um, this is by Mac and it's in the color raisin now I'm just basically finishing up my eyes adding in some eyeliner adding in some eyeshadow under my eyes and then some mascara So I decided today to do an ombre lip, so I am using Mamacita by Colourpop just on the outside. And then I'm going to go in the center with a light pink liquid lipstick. I'm not sure of the name, but I will link it down for you guys as well in the description bar below. So I'm pretty much done the makeup now. I'm just fixing up my hair. Um, guys, I am no expert in hair, but I tried. <laughs> I'm more of a makeup girl. But anyways, um, just touching up my makeup so everything blends. And then for my hair, I'm going to be using a mixture of um, leave-in conditioner and water just to um, accentuate the curls. This is pretty much the end of the video. I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Um, you guys are amazing. Please like and comment if you enjoyed the video. And I'm going to go get dressed. And I will catch you guys in the after clips. Bye. Scary my last name. To you I promise. To you I promise. To you I vow. you I vow. I pledge forever. I'm starting now. Starting now, I was lost until you turned me back around. Me I back will around. love you for.